hello guys so from this video we are going to start memory interfacing so the very first question arises is that what is memory interfacing simply we can say interfacing the memory with 8085 processor okay but next question is why it is needed now we know the internal architecture of 8085 correct in that we don't have any memory chip okay and in every application we must need external memory okay to store either data or to store either program okay so for that purpose we interface memory externally to the 8085 microprocessor okay so for that purpose we needed this memory interfacing okay now we know that 8085 has 16 address lines okay so it can address 64k memory how 64k 16 address lines means 2 raised to 16 different combinations okay so 2 raised to 16 we can break as 2 raised to 6 into 2 raised to 10 okay this becomes 1k and this is 64 so this is 64k memory okay now external interfacing of memory implies either it is ram or rom or both okay because why both we will interface ram also and rom also why both because eprom is used as program memory while ram is used for data memory okay and this 64k this one this 64kb is shared by both this that is for program memory and data memory that is eprom and ram okay now depending on the application okay we can have depending on the application let me write depending on application okay we can have more than one rams and eproms okay all this depends on our application now let's say we have decided our particular application okay so after deciding the arrangement that how many number of memory chips that is either ram or rom okay or both so after deciding how many ram and rom chips are required for this particular application okay what you, we have to do what user has to do user has to design an address decoding logic okay what user has to do address decoding circuit or we can say address decoding logic okay user has to design this okay so what this circuit will do this circuit okay will receive what will receive the address from where from microprocessor okay done so after deciding this the number of ram and rom chips the user has to design address decoding logic and this address decoding circuit or we can say logic will receive address from microprocessor okay from microprocessor we can say processors address bus okay and 
it what it will do and it will convert it to chip select logic okay because we have more than one chips of ram and rom so we must have some logic so that we can select a particular chip for a particular logic okay so this will be done by microprocessor in this way okay then and this chip select logic will select the required memory module or io device okay here we are concerned with memory only so it will select required memory only okay now how it will do this we will see later on okay but right now it is important that it will do this okay now we have two methods okay for this decoding logic first is absolute decoding and second one is partial decoding sometimes this absolute decoding is also called as full decoding okay and this partial decoding is sometimes also known as linear decoding so now we will discuss both this decoding techniques okay this decoding techniques are also called as address decoding techniques okay now let's discuss the first one which is absolute decoding okay so what happens in this absolute decoding in absolute decoding technique the higher order please concentrate over here what happens in absolute decoding technique the higher order address bus or we can say the higher order address lines are decoded okay for what to select the memory chip okay what it says in absolute decoding technique the higher order address lines are decoded to select the memory chip also the chip is selected for specified logic levels only the chip is selected for specified logic levels on higher order address line okay so other logic levels cannot select the chip okay and such a logic scheme is used for large memory systems okay so we can say at uh, this this address decoding technique that is the absolute decoding technique is used for large memory systems 